my name is Vaida Hulagen and I'm an e-learning consultant at Anovation. Today I'm going to show you manager view within Totara. I'm going to log in as Anna manager to Totara version 16. Let's get stuck in. Upon logging in, I'm taken to the homepage where I can see all the informational blocks that were predefined for um, all the users of the site. I have access to a learner dashboard, which gives me an idea of all the training that is currently assigned to me. I can see the due dates for the training or in some cases overdue dates. I can see the progress that I'm making and I can complete the training as required. I also have access to manager dashboard and manager dashboard presents information to me as a manager so I can see a statistics block which gives me an idea of how many courses were started and how many courses were completed within the last 30 days. If one of my direct reports requests a um, learning plan to be approved, I can see it in my tasks uh, block where I can review the tasks block and also review the elements of the learning plan and uh, decide if I wish to approve it or decline it. So I can set, for example, a due date for the courses and I can approve uh, that request. And as soon as the learning plan is approved, the learner is going to be notified that they can continue with the training that way they were planning to do. Again, at the manager dashboard will contain some of the graphical reports so you can see the certifications how many certifications were completed uh, how many are not certified and how many are expired also uh, we can create a graphical review of course completions if site administrators uh, make reports available, uh, they can be not only in graphical form but also kind of um, more in-depth information as to where the learners are in their journey and those reports can be filtered by certification name, user's name or perhaps um, certification status. Uh, and alternatively, the manager might also have to approve, for example, requests for seminar events. And this can be done uh, from notifications menu where I can see that Fiona requested a um, seminar to be approved. So if I click on to view the request, I can then decide if I want to decline it or if I want to approve it. So as soon as I approve it and click on update the request, Fiona is going to be sent a notification to say that now she is booked into a session. As a manager, I also have a possibility to see all of my team. So at the moment, the people who are um, kind of reporting to me, I can look at their learning plans, at their profiles. If uh, Dotara performance is uh, enabled, I can also uh, have a look at their performance activities and uh, participate in them if required. If uh, there is certain training that you know that your direct report has completed but it wasn't yet marked as completed on the system, manager can also do that. So uh, going uh, by going into the direct report record of learning and for example certifications, if I know uh, that Neve has completed manual handling, I can click into uh, the manual handling and mark it off as completed. So I can include the grade, I can include the comment and the date of completion. So uh, that uh, allows for the certification to be kicked in and it will recalculate all the recertification and window open period and um, all that good stuff that comes with certifications. So uh, this is a short overview of the manager functionality uh, within uh, Totara Learn. Thank you very much. Bye.